friend. It's so good to see you again. There's no one like you. You can do anything you put your mind to. Just the thing you thought you should know. Are you ready? Cause here we go. It's Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Wonder Friends. As you start to come in, make sure that you're putting your names into the comments so we can say hi to everybody. How's everybody doing today on this fine Saturday Easter Eve? This is what I'm guessing it is. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. So we are going to draw today the Easter Bunny. So we are just going to have a lot of fun today just drawing some stuff. I think what we're going to do, a new format that we're going to start doing is Monday through Friday. We'll do some sort of themed things. And on Saturday and Sunday, we're just going to have fun. We're just going to draw some stuff. It's going to keep it real straightforward. Have fun. Draw. That sounds good, right? Let's just have a good time doing it. No real plans. And let's just enjoy ourselves. Have some fun. Create some stuff together. And just have a good time. That is the plan. That's what I'm going to stick to probably this part forward. Um, guys, my name is Jason Tharp. I am the Chief Creator of Dream at Wonderville Studios. And basically I get paid to make up stuff. It is the coolest job ever. I love what I do and I started Wonder Friends in hopes that it might inspire some of you guys out there that are wanting to try some things that you maybe you don't know what, you, what to do or how to go about it. And I know what it's like to be a kid that dreams big dreams and don't know how to do it. And this is how I went about doing it. Just a quick reminder about our unicorn national unicorn day still giveaway is going on until the 16th you guys have plenty of time to take part in it just go to that link that's in this, the show notes here you can go there follow those things help that with your parents help go there a lot easier to do giving away 15 copies of the book it's pretty cool so go check it out um you guys i am so happy that you invited me into your world today and we're just like I said, for you is just anybody that's just now coming in, we're gonna to stick to from now on like Saturday, Sunday. It's just 100% fun. We're just gonna draw some stuff, keep it real simple Monday through Friday. We're probably gonna do like a theme thing. Um, today we're gonna to draw the Easter Bunny. I think that seems appropriate. I think it sounds like it'll be fun. Um, we're gonna really spend uh, uh, some time drawing a couple things today. I just want it to be a straight drawing, straight fun type of thing today. Um, and we will do this kind of go forward. Uh, just so everybody also knows, Monday, I am going to have a surprise for everybody. It's a little free gift for everybody that you're going to be able to download. Uh, and I think it'll bring a lot of fun to those of us that are kind of stuck inside. Um, and it's a really cool kind of thing to do. So I am just going to take a second here, say hi to some friends. I got Porter and Harper in the house. What's up, guys? Say hi to Dad, too. What's up, Dad? Good to see you. Uh, Ava, what's happening? Good to see you guys. And so as we start getting ready to draw here, let me just remind everybody that you can go to my website and download that stuff. Wonderville Studios got time 100% free. Parents, I need you to do me a huge favor. Once this show's over, just hit that share button. It takes two seconds. Um, I'm just uh, you know needing some help extending out there, reaching out to other people. Just hit the share button. You don't have to say anything other than just hit share, click, send, PTO groups, mom groups, dad groups, whatever. It just helps me uh, be able to reach more kids. So guys, you ready to draw some stuff today? Let's just get our markers and our paper. I'm going to switch over here. And we're just going to draw. We're going to have a good time today. And parents, uh, you can draw too. I mean, there are no rules that this is just a kids only drawing thing. Everybody can draw. Everybody can do this. Guys, and you remember what we do? We get our hands warmed up. Let's loosen up. Let's loosen up. Let's maybe stretch our fingers. Oh, oh, are we all set? Here we go. All right, so remember what we're going to do. We're going to get our mind warmed up. We just do one creative exercise just to get our creativity flowing. And how we do that here on Wonder Friends is we just make a scribble, right? We just make a shape like that, right? Now, here's what I do, as you guys know, is I spin mine, and whatever way it lands, that's what I'm going to do. Now remember what we are doing here, the goal is to create something out of this, okay? Now we're not looking at what it is, we're looking at what it can be, all right? So instead of just seeing a scribble, start looking at it and see, do you see any shapes in there that you can make something from? Uh, do you see anything that you can have fun with and you can create something 
that is essentially from nothing because this is just a scribble. That's how we grow our creative mind. So here is what I'm going to do. Yours is going to be completely different. Just do it along with me. You don't have to stop and wait for me. You guys are really just making your own thing right here. I am just going to put in this kind of shape right there. And I think I'm going to put a couple of these right here. You guys seeing something in your drawing yet? Are you making something with your creativity and having fun making that thing? I see mine. Do you guys see what I got going on here? Check it out. You seeing anything yet in yours? How's it going? Remember, we're just making stuff. There are no rules to this. We are just making something. It does not have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be good or great or whatever you think. It's just, we are just warming up. We are just getting our creative muscles going here so we can start to make something that has a little bit of a direction here. So check it out. I took all those things. I thought those looked like little arms, so I added another one to make a second arm, and then I thought that looked like a leg, and I just added that. And it's kind of like a little nutty squirrel type of character, right? Got a little nut there. He loves it. He's happy about it. He's having a good time. I'm going to put my name on it. Feel free to put your name on it. I write mine like that. However you write yours, you do it. So, again, guys, all we're doing here, we're just getting warmed up with this. It's All it is is just so we can stretch. Similar if you're playing any sports or stuff that we do some stretching before that, we're doing the exact same thing when it comes to our creativity. It's important to stretch out our creativity minds, all that stuff like that. So we're going to draw the Easter Bunny. Now, the Easter Bunny, what does the Easter Bunny look like? Well, luckily for you, when I was about eight, I captured a picture of the Easter Bunny and it stuck in my mind forever. So I know what the Easter Bunny looks like. And I'm more importantly, I learned how to draw the Easter Bunny. So I'm going to teach you a super secret method for drawing the Easter Bunny. Do you believe me? You should. Maybe this isn't the exact Easter Bunny, but it is an Easter Bunny. So we're just going to have fun drawing the Easter Bunny. So here's what we're going to do, all right? Now, remember as we start to draw this stuff, your drawing is not going to look just like mine. Your drawing is going to look like yours. I'm just showing you some ideas that I think will be easy for you to follow along. So just stick with me if i go too fast you can always go back and look at this video and rewind it but we are going to create the easter bunny so really what we're going to do is start the paper up and down so we can get a nice big thing here and what we're going to do is we are going to make two hot dogs right so two hot dogs we're going to put one hot dog right there and another hot dog right there so it's almost like if we put them next to each other it'd be one hot dog but they're kind of halves right now those Guess what those are gonna be? What do you guys think? They're the ears, you're right, you were correct. So now what we're gonna do is, see this outside line right here? And you see this outside line right here? We are going to draw a big oval and connect those two things together, right? Now, in between here, what I want you to do is put the number 11, okay? It's one, done. One and one next to each other is 11, right? One, one. Psh. What those are, are little tiny hairs. Bing, bing. That the, it, the Easter Bunny would have between. Now, inside of the ears, we need to make sure we show the inside. So like, that way it looks like we see the inside of an ear, right? Kind of like you can see inside of my hands, we're gonna draw the inside of the ears. How we're gonna do that is we're going to make like a teardrop shape. But it's standing upright, okay? So it's up and around and it touches the point. Watch what I do in this one too, and just follow right along. So it's up, around, and touch back at that point. Now we have two inside of the ears. You can even, if you want, put a couple little hairs in there. You can do whatever. It's totally up to you. If you want, look at this. We can even put some little dots on it, right? Because I would imagine that maybe when we decorate Easter eggs, right, we put, there's like all kinds of dots and stripes and things like that. What if the Easter Bunny has the same dots and stripes and things like that too? So now that we have this, remember what we, we talk about a lot of times is we imagine that there's an imaginary line running right down the middle. So if I were to put my marker down here so you guys can see, you don't have to draw this part, but I just want you, I want to show you how there's a, an imaginary line that splits it. And on each side of those, you just put a little dot, okay? Now we make that little dot a little bit bigger on each side. And then we put a bigger circle around each one. 
Now once you get those, you can make this other dot inside bigger if you want. It's totally up to you. Remember, this is your Easter Bunny that you're drawing here, okay? Now for the nose. Now, if you think about any bunnies that you've ever seen, do they have a nose that's this big? Do they have a nose that's this big? Or do they have like a little tiny nose, right? And I think a lot of times if we think of a bunny, a bunny has really small nose. So we can just draw inside here. If I just draw between the eyes a line, just like this, and I put a little tiny half line and I color that in. You guys see that okay? Now we kind of have a little tiny nose, right? Now, one of the things that I think I noticed about bunnies is they have kind of like the same as a cat, right? They have like a little line that goes between. It kind of splits their lip, right? And I think because it's the Easter Bunny, I would imagine that's a pretty cool job, right? And it probably makes you pretty happy. So I think that what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a big smile all the way across, right? And we can connect that line all the way down. Now, one thing I do know about bunnies is they have, what do they have in the front inside of their mouth that's really big? You guys have any ideas? That's right, it's teeth, right? They have those big teeth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one big two. So all we do is we draw a half circle or it's the letter U, right? And we're gonna put a line right in the middle of it. So it kind of looks like there's two teeth stuck together. Now we're gonna put these little bloopies on the end here. That kind of shows the edge of the cheeks, all that stuff like that. And where we ended those, I want us just to put three little things up there, right? Because bunnies have whiskers, right? So we have those, and then remember what we do for eyebrows, we make rectangles, right? All they are are rectangles, colored in, rectangles. That's it. Now, body, okay, here's where you get creative. I don't care what kind of body you put on it. If you wanna put a big, big, fat body, a teeny tiny body, I don't care. Here's what I'm gonna do, and you can feel free to go along. I'm gonna draw a shape like this. It's kind of like a triangle that just kind of goes around right and connects okay now for legs easy peasy right we talk about it all the time we got some hot dogs two hot dogs next to each other cut them in half put one half here one half here now we have the hot dogs okay arms I want you to do the exact same thing we have a hot dog and we're gonna cut it in half and we're gonna put one half here and one half here now what do bunnies have on their booties do they have really long tails? Do they have like a waggy tail like a dog? Or do they have like a cotton ball tail? That's right, they have a cotton ball tail, right? So what we do with that is it's just this, make some sound. That little sound right there will help you make your swirly lines even better, right? And so now that we have all this, what does the Easter Bunny do? Do we know? What, are, what, is, what is the Easter Bunny famous for? The Easter Bunny is famous for, is the Easter Bunny famous for delivering trees? No? Is the Easter Bunny famous for delivering elephants? No. I think the Easter Bunny is kind of famous for delivering eggs, right? Hiding eggs, Easter hats, Easter feet. It delivers Easter, it hides Easter feet, right? No, no wait, no. What is, what is it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's Easter baskets, right? So here's what we're gonna do. So a basket is a straight line and we put two lines on each side of it and we connect that line, right? Now we draw little tiny lines inside here, okay? Now to make the basket look like a basket, if I put little up and down lines. Now watch what I do. See how I have these two beside here? In between there, I wanna put another one. And then the next one down, I wanna draw my line right below that one. So now it looks like a weaved basket, right? Now remember, we have some eggs. So we have an egg here, an egg here, and an egg here, right? And we can color those any different way that we want, right? Now we have a handle, so the handle is just a thing that goes all the way around, just like that. Now, to make our Easter bunny look like it's standing on the ground, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a line that kind of goes behind 
those so we can make sure that it's behind our bunny. And I want you just to put some little up and down lines on it. And this is kind of like grass, right? So it shows different kinds of grass. Now, here's what I want you to get really creative with yours, and I want you to start, I want you to go through and finish yours any way that you want. Is see how I put dots up there? I'm gonna put some more dots down here on its leg. So to kind of finish off that I'm gonna say that my Easter bunny is a polka dot bunny, okay? And I have these little dots here. Now what I want you to do is I want you to finish your Easter Bunny any way that you want. If you want to put some stripes on it, if you want to do, I don't care whatever it is that you want to do. And then after you are done with it, I want you, after you get all your drawing done, I just want you to get out some crayons, markers, whatever it is that you have. And I just want you to color it, right? In different ways, however you would like to color it. I will finish my drawing and I will post it in my comments so you guys can see what I did. And I would love it if you guys, after you finish drawing your Easter Bunny, post it in the comments so I can see what you did. So, let me switch over here. Oh, oh, hey, hey, once you're done, don't forget, make sure that you put your name on it so that way everybody knows who made that masterpiece. Okay, so there we go. We drew an Easter Bunny. Now. What are you gonna do with your drawing? I think it'd be cool to maybe give it to somebody, right? Maybe you could, I don't know, put it out for the mailman. You could stick it on a friend's door. You could, I don't know, mail it to your grandma or grandpa. You can do anything with it, right? Anyway, because I think what's kind of cool about the Easter Bunny is it's about spreading joy and happiness, right? So that's a super easy way to create the Easter Bunny. So guys, um, as we are wrapping up the show here, just remember that we have the giveaway ends today. So post your pictures into the comments so we can see them, right? So we know we can pick a winner. Um, I will be picking a winner. Oh, I'm sorry, today's Saturday. Oh man, this, the drawing ends tomorrow. I'm sorry, I was off by a day. Today's Saturday. Tomorrow, it ends tomorrow, not today. Um, are the days starting to blend all together for you guys too, as it is for me? Um, so we are going to be finishing our drawing tomorrow. Parents, I need your help. Kids, if you're listening to this with headphones on, tell your mom and dad you gotta share this, show your friends about it. Tell them they just gotta send it around because you're having such a good time drawing all this stuff. Uh, again, Monday, I will be showing you guys a cool free gift that I'll have for everybody. So make sure that you're checking back in on Monday. Make sure that you're going to the website, you're downloading all those PDFs. They are there for free. There is absolutely nothing I want from you other than for you to download them and have a good time with them. That again is wondervillestudios.com. Now let's say that you just wanna do some more drawings. Great, I have a ton of drawing videos on YouTube. Go there, check them out. Tomorrow supplies, piece of cake, markers and paper. We are just going to draw. Again, if you guys are just now joining us, Monday through Friday, we're gonna to stick to a theme. Saturday and Sunday, we're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna straight draw, nothing else, and have a good time doing it. Um, Today I will be releasing a new Dice Doodles uh, Bunny Edition, so make sure you check that out as well. And as always, you can get my books anywhere. Books are sold. Amazon, support your local bookstore, anywhere you can get them. And do not forget, guys, we still have the big contest going on until the 16th. You can enter to win one of 15. Just follow the link that is inside these show notes and you are good to go. That's it, guys. So before I leave, let me say hi to some more friends. We got Sylvia and Vivian. What's going on? You love the wall even more. And you, go, you know this wall? It's I just started drawing all over stuff. That's it. I just doodle straight on the wall. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, nobody. I know, right? And that we don't want, we don't know what day it is. It, it's all blending together right now. Every day seems like the same. I just realized the uh, last night that uh, oh, I hit the button. I realized last night that all of a sudden it was uh, Friday, and I was like, oh. It, it, I don't know, it sounds so crazy. <laughs> but guys, as we wrap up today, just remember the key to happiness is embracing your unicorniness, right? And that just because we're stuck inside doesn't mean that we don't have an opportunity to sprinkle magic on somebody else's day. You can do that in a bunch of ways. You can write something really nice on a sidewalk for people walking by. You can leave a note for the mailman. You can leave a note for your neighbor and tape it to their mailbox. There's all kinds of ways that you can let other people know that they matter, that they mean something, and that you're thinking of them. There's ways to sprinkle your magic on somebody else's day just by you being you. Which, by the way, if you don't know, you are pretty awesome. What's up, Libby? Good to see you. Guys, 
I will see you tomorrow. We're going to have some fun drawing again tomorrow. Happy Easter, everybody. I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday, and I will see you tomorrow at 11. Bye!